All aboard the Heavy Duty What's up, what's up, what's up, passengers? How y'all doing today? It's your boy, Heavy Duty, coming at you with another mukbang thing, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, I gotta say, all aboard the Heavy Duty Express, where we're always blessed, never stressed, and I'm always a mess. And uh, y'all know the rest. Y'all, comment like a share for me. One more time, comment like a share for me. And if you're new to the channel, if you would, run over here to the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, select all. That way, every time we upload a video or go live, you get a notification, you can come check us out. Y'all, I'm going to go ahead and pray, and then I'll tell you what this is. So, y'all ready? Our Heavenly Father, we come before you this time to thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for all the blessings that you have set upon us. Lord, we ask you to bless this meal for the nourishment of our body. We ask you to forgive us our sins and our shortcomings. We ask all these things in your Son Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Y'all, look at him, look at him. We got some homemade chicken quesadillas. Yummy. And, uh, of course, y'all know me. I love me some chicken. So, yeah. Oh, hey. Wednesday tonight, y'all, hey. Karaoke night is returning. 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. Y'all be ready. Well, hey, I'm ready to eat. I'm hungry. Get some of this chicken quesadilla. I'm seasoning it up with some different kind of seasons, seasonings. See what it tastes like. Tastes pretty good. Lady Boss did some, um, Lady Boss did some, I guess, a couple, of few, couple of few weeks ago. Them jokers were good. A couple weeks ago, they maybe, well, heck, I don't remember. It's been a couple of weeks. I know. Anyway, the way she done hers, it was, she used two tortillas, but used it all on the, on the same quesadilla. Took and put one whole round on the bottom one, and she, she melted some cheese on the outside of it. That was, it was really hey, y'all, guess what? Bubba's in the house! And I said, what's up, Bubba? Bubba said, what's up, passengers? How y'all doing today? Got some more juice in me again today. Ah. Yummy. That's pretty good. But as y'all see, I just, I just done mine. It's like a regular traditional quesadilla. Did the half half style. Toasted a little bit on the outside. Look good, huh? See all that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm, wow. And I only used one chicken breast for both of these. See if I can get one out of the side of it right here. 
Yeah. See that little piece of chicken? That's how little I cut it up. Little pieces like that. To spread on the hash with the cheese. They got a good amount on there on both of them too. Too good meaty. Case it is. <laughs> and when Lady Boss done hers, she used a different kind of chicken too. The kind she used was it was like shredded buffalo chicken. That was really good. Really good. How's y'all week going? I hope, I hope nobody's working too hard. Y'all, if you would, keep a... Uh, Greg G and his wife in uh, any prayers if y'all would. Him and her both have been going through a uh, rough time here here lately. But both of them been real sick. And him having surgery back a, a few months ago that's been acting up on them. So y'all, if you would say a few prayers for them, keep them keep them in your prayers. I hope you I hope you get to feeling better soon, brother. Y'all be y'all take care, take it easy. Good. Like I said, karaoke will be back tonight, y'all. I shouldn't have made two of them. I guess I let my, my eyes overload my tummy, you know. I can eat two. Yeah. I might be able to eat two of those from Taco Bell. Because they don't put a lot of meat and cheese on them. Of course, man, I ain't loaded down with cheese, but there's a pretty good bunch of meat on it. Especially with the steak, which is one I always get from Taco Bell. You know they don't put much, put much steak on that. I'm not much chicken either, probably. about half of them. Mm. No, earlier. I was 
<clears throat> I was doing something Lady Boss asked me to do. While I was doing it, I was looking up and wasn't watching where I was walking. And I tripped and fell. Twisted my back a little bit. If I move too fast, a certain way, kind of hurts a little bit. Mm. Well, about one more piece, I'm going to be able to go. For real, for real. <laughs> How many of y'all going to uh going going out to the meet and greet out in Atlanta? In the last video, I said something about some of the ones that's gonna be there. All the ones that I had said, except for one, are gonna be there, and that one was Big Mac. Uh, Lip said that Big Mac wasn't going to be able to make it, but it's going to be me and Lady Balls, Lips and his family, King E.E., -E, um, You Love Shawnee, um, I say Big Belly Bob, um, Sam World, Hashtag the Cannon, MRTV, and Dr. Cowboy. <laughs> um, Miss Chans. There's a bunch of us going to be there, y'all. Bunch of us. I'll eat one more. I don't lie, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna eat one more and I'll be done. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Might work. I might be able to eat that second one now. No. <laughs> Got a little bit more room. Um. This one probably fill it back up.
Mm. Good stuff. I used um what's it cr uh, ground red pepper um grill mate steak seasoning and then there's a grill grill mates onion I mean garlic and jalapeno seasoning that I use and then some some liquid stuff is called tiger 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 something I don't remember it is sweet heat sauce call it um I call it the the, the good stuff <laughs> I like it but um let's see lady boss says she got it on clearance the sticker on it, it looked like a Walmart sticker it's got the you know the little Walmart emblem on it um, yeah, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, so but I'm gonna look and find, see if I can find it somewhere else. I love that stuff. I used the last of it on this chicken. Come on, like a for me. Mhm. Mm okay. I'm done. Oh, with four thirty. Shoo. Mm. -mm. Can't go no more. Just a little bit. Sit this over here out of the way just a little bit. Y'all know what time it is. Time for that daily bread, daily reflection. Yes, sir, re Bob. Mm, excuse me. Oh, man. Alright, today is Wednesday, July the 21st. The reading comes from Matthew 5, 3 through 10. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. That's Matthew 5, 12. The title for the day is Authentic Christian Christianity. I applied for a position in a Christian organization years ago and was presented with a list of legalistic rules having to do with the use of alcohol, tobacco, and certain forms of entertainment. We expect Christian behavior from our employees was the explanation. I could agree with I could I could agree with this list because I, for reasons mostly unrelated to my faith, didn't do those things. But my argumentative side thought, why do they have to have a list about not being arrogant, insensitive, harsh, spirituality, or spiritually indifferent, and and critical? None of these were addressed. Following Jesus, following Jesus can't be defined by a list of rules. It's a, subtle, it's a subtle quality of life that's different to quantify, difficult to quantify, but can be best described as beautiful. The Beatitudes in Matthew 5, 3 through 10 sum up that beauty. Those who are undwelt by undwelt by and dependent on the Spirit of Jesus are humble and self self-effacing. They're deeply touched by the suffering of others. They're gentle and kind. They long for goodness in themselves and in others. They're most merciful to meet those who struggle and fall. 
fail. They're single-minded in their love for Jesus. They're peaceful and leave behind a legacy of peace. They're kind to those who misuse them, returning good for evil. And they're blessed, a word that means happy in the deepest sense. This kind of life attracts the attention of others and belongs to those who come to Jesus and ask him for it. That's really good one, y'all. I mean, you got to have, to really be a devout Christian, I mean, you have to abide by a certain, a certain way of life. I mean, there's certain things that you, you just don't do. I mean, I mean I just like to have what this guy, this guy, that applied for this position in a Christian organization. I mean, having to a list of rules, legalistic rules that had to, had to be followed, no matter what. It says down at the bottom, which of the attitudes from Matthew 5 do you especially need in your life? I need a few of them. I mean, I'd, I'd, I mean, it hurts me to see others suffer. So, I mean, I'm deeply touched by the suffering of others. Gentle and kind. Long for goodness in themselves and others, for sure. Um, Merciful to those who struggle and fail. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, that they're, they're, and, and they're, I'm definitely, kind, yeah, kind to even those who misuse me, I mean, mistreat me. So, yeah, I could do, uh, go along with a few of those. The prayer for the day is, Spirit of God, please produce and characterize uh, these characteristics from the Beatitudes in my life. Amen. Yeah, that, the topic, once again, is authentic Christianity. If y'all want to, you can go back and read that. If you, I mean, you can look it up, ourdailybread.org. On, on the internet and have it. All right, July the twenty-first. This is a daily reflection. A priceless gift is the title for the day. By this time, in all probability, we have gained some measure of release from our more devastating handicaps. We enjoy moments in which there is something like real peace of mind. To those of us who have hitherto known, uh, known only excitement, depression, or anxiety, in other words, to all of us, this newfound peace is a priceless gift. That comes from the 12 Steps, 12 Traditions, page 74. I am learning to let go and let God. To have a mind that is open and a heart that is willing to receive God's grace in all my affairs. In this way, I can experience the peace and freedom that come as a result of surrender. It has been proven that an act of surrender, originating in depression, desperation, and defeat, can grow into an ongoing act of faith, and that faith means freedom and victory. I like that. That's a good one. I mean, because you got to, you got to surrender. I mean, because if you don't, then you're not really giving up anything. I mean, so I, the way that I was taught, told, I mean, if you, if you don't surrender all you have to God, 
then I mean, you're not really willing to accept his help. So you gotta you gotta let it all go. I mean, no matter what, no matter how deep it is, how bad it hurts, you gotta let it go. Ooh, yeah, I'm full. Mm I'm gonna get off here, get this video edited, get it uploaded, so y'all can see it today, and um, keep back my life a little bit. Man. Let's see if I can find me a heating pad or something. But y'all, I love y'all. Thank you once again for coming aboard the Heavy Duty Express, where we're always blessed, never stressed, and I'm always a mess. And uh. Y'all know the rest. But until next time, may y'all stay blessed, never stressed, and try to stay out of a mess. But if you do get one, always remember, call the good Lord. He'll help you through it if you only believe. Y'all, I love y'all. Y'all stay safe, stay blessed, and comment like and share for me. One more time, comment like and share for me. And if you're new to the channel, if you would, run over and hit the subscribe button. Then hit the notification bell, select all. That way, every time we upload a video or go live, you get a notification. Come check us out. Ah, y'all. Y'all be good. Keep the mirrors to the track. Train can be rolled through again pretty soon. I love y'all. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Peace.